Hey, it's Dominique from Well Medical Arts, and today I'm gonna teach you about how to Botox the neck. In particular, the main muscles that we do are called the platysmal bands. Now, in general, Botox is a muscle relaxant, and when you relax a muscle that's a depressor, meaning that it pulls down, it lifts. So with Botox, we can do a lot of lifting as well as getting rid of wrinkles. In particular, in the low face, there are some muscles that are depressors. These muscles right here are called your DAOs, the depressor angularis oris. They cause the pre-jowl. When you Botox them, they will lift. This muscle right through here is superficial. It's called the platysmal sheath. It pulls down. When we Botox here, it lifts. And then in the neck, you can do the central band and those platysmal bands. Now, these are the muscles right here that are the platysmal bands. They're hard to see on me because I've got them Botox. But you go like this and you can see them pop out. So we grab up the band, Botox the insertion point and down the band. Normally this muscle would pull down, but when we Botox it and relax it, it lifts up. So it really does keep the neck nice and tight and kind of makes the jawline look a bit more contoured. The only downfall is it'll take quite a few mus uh, units the bigger the muscle is, the stronger it is, the more Botox it'll take. Now, some people have as many as like six platysmal bands, like two, four, six. Some people will just have four, but you want at least 12 units in each band. So you could see how that would add up. So sometimes I'll just do 24, and sometimes it can take up to 40 to 60 units. It really just depends on how strong your muscles are, how big they are, and what kind of result you wanna get. Uh, for more information on all the different amazing areas that you can Botox and to look up how many units you will need, you can refer to our website, Well Medical Arts, and it says, how many units will I need?